Okay, let's take a look at the push button schematic for the Freedom K64. Before we look at that, let's take a look at some of the other systems that are on our board here. We have an Ethernet connector here, which means we can connect up to the internet and be able to send data to a web page if we want later. We also have down here an accelerometer and magnetometer, and we also have over here a micro SD card connector where we can hook up SD card to store lots of data. But let's focus on what we want to deal with today, which is our push buttons. And the left push button here is called SW3, and SW3 is the name for all left push buttons on all embed enabled boards. And SW2 here is the one that's for all right push buttons on all embed enabled boards. And you can see down here, here's our RGB that we were working on previously. Now, if we take a look here, SW3, which is a generic name, which works on all boards in SW2, but we have specific ones for the Freedom K64. Port A, pin 4 for the left push button, and port C, pin 6 for our right push button. These work on all boards. This will only work on the Freedom K64. Here's our schematic here, and what you're going to see is this is SW3, which is the same as PTA4. And there's SW2 here, which is the same as PTC6 here. And the way it works is this, is that you have something called a pull-up resistor here. This is a 10K pull-up resistor. And we have 3.3 volts going in. So 3.3 volts going through the pull-up resistor. If the push button is not pressed, that means that there's no connection here between ground and pin 1. So what you're going to have is 3.3 volts coming out on PTA4. So if it's... If the push button is not pressed, you get 3.3 or 1 out here. If you do press it, it connects 2 to 1 here with ground, and you have ground coming out. So pressed, you get ground. Not pressed, you get 3.3 or 1. And it's the same on the right push button as well.